transition so you can see our beautiful faces. There are no beautiful faces here. Oi! Speak for yourself. I am. There's Tom over there, look. <laughs> I am talking about myself. Yeah. How's everyone doing? How are you doing, Vales? How's everyone? Welcome. So very, very quick, because you just want to get into the game. So, um, hi. Right, we have life and death today, which is from my Father's Day present. Don't know anything from the book. You should see my TikTok video. I am super excited about what I got for it. A tower of of weird and wonderful beers. And it is life and death today. So we're going to try that while we play today. Um, other than that, it has been a very long time. Uh, we missed last week due to uh, personal and... Yeah, we just needed a break. Um, that's what we needed. But now we're back in full swings. And people are uh, recuperating and we're loving each other. And this is this music's getting a bit upbeat. It's nice. cool. I ca honestly can't decide if it wants to go into techno or <laughs> orchestra. I was going to say or Enya. Enya, God, I love Enya. I don't think I've heard of that. Enya's great. It's um, it's like desperately trying to to turn into Jean Michel Jarre, but not quite managing it. So, so and you have to be quite old to know that, I suspect. Yeah, I was going to say, who's that? <laughs> so very quickly. Why you don't even know Jean Michel Jarre? So, oh, did you say your old color? Very quickly, <laughs> you... quickly, 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 quickly. Um, <laughs> Let Dan talk. We want to talk about interaction. We want to see some fireballs today, don't we not? No. no. What do you mean no? Not at level, not at level three. We don't. What about no. what about? Theos, world magic. Yes, to the can, world yeah, magic. I can live with that because I barely do magic, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it might affect you. But anyway, um, interactive chat is live today. By all means, um, come and have some fun with us as you get involved into the stream. Um, see their stream lads is telling you all about it there. Win some M and M's courtesy of Phil. Oh, eat them. And maybe some. Uh, okay, an empty bag of M and M's. <laughs> this is my Father's Day gift, or one of them anyway. And maybe some floating five K points going around at some point today. We'll see. We'll see when uh, we're all good and generous. So let's talk about what happened last session. And this is going to be turned down now because it's getting a bit loud. That is my next project, working on that. So we have episode five to talk about. So episode five, you were, why is that? Oh, fuck off, wait a minute. Why, um, while you were in the caves, um, you were trying to figure out what the hell this pink water was. Um, trying to figure it out. So B, for a blue cap into the water, which was a, um, which was a mushroom. And you noticed, um, something ate that mushroom. Um, Castiel waded to discover that there's fish in this water. Not only that it is pink water, it is inhabitable by fish. And it looks like edible fish. B decided to get a primitive fishing rod and caught her own fish. Um, <laughs> Gabriel and Arthur, you decided to split off and had have a look to burn the fungus. This is where it gets a bit funny. Because they decided to burn the fungus and they didn't realise that smoke didn't dissipate very quickly. So you got high very quickly. Um, I think, what was it? Gabriel got a bit lightheaded? No, no, sorry. Arthur got lightheaded. Gabriel got very high. He got an exha <laughs> exhaustion point, if I remember correctly. He got several, because you're at half speed, two. if I remember rightly. Yeah, I've got two levels. Um... So it's interesting to know that burning fungus in a cave isn't always good if you, unless you want to get high. Um, after this, after doing that, you decided to suspect that the pink liquid. Um, uh, you suspected that the pink liquid um, is is the cause of this, so you forced yourself to throw up. Um, well, it wasn't a pleasant sight, wasn't a thing to imagine, but yet yeah, it, it. After that didn't make a blind bit of difference. 
You just felt silly for yourself. Um, you set a few more on fire. You retreated out of the cave and headed back to Port Hope, which is the main city that you, you entered here. The, the main city you entered here that you only visited so far. On the way, you encountered a young dire wolf in dire need of some assistance. Wasn't aggressive. Um, was very lethargic, needed food, needed water. Uh, took a little while to coax it to come to you with some very poor rolling, I must add. But eventually we got there. The wolf was fed, and as you fed the wolf, it now seems to be in your debt, I would say. As Arthur was able to put a rope around its neck and then make it a rideable mount for B. So that bee can catch up because why not um so you approach the gates with a fresh new dire wolf to your party um you come across a man dressed in holy vestments man brandishing a holy symbol demanding that we all repent for our sins knowing what exactly you did um and for, for you to confess, um, enduring, thinking that this was bollocks, um, you questioned him and found him to be a charlatan. And he ran off after being quietly threatened by Rashala with the mention of Tiamat. Arthur then asked the guards once they got to the gate where the guard captain was and to fetch him. Basically, he got told to swivel. Because he is here to protect and not to go fetch. Um, however, a small verbal altercation ensued with Bay. Bay, Bay, B was goaded to attack the guard with some bugs. Yeah, that happened. Not, kick, not kicks to the kneecaps. No, 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 it was infestation. Um. Yeah, that was of course. Uh, after that, Arthur whispered to the guard, "What's for burning down her?" Oh, yeah, because you whispered to her that you, the guard, burnt her home down. Arthur, that was a naughty thing to do. Did I? Did I do that? Yes, you did do that. And I remember that. I've been corrupted by the people around me. <laughs> Okay. I knew it wouldn't take long. <laughs> oh, nice. So, um, with that, um, he managed to resist and take no damage from it. But B was knocked on her backside as the ley lines decided to go, fuck you. Um, yeah, that was funny. Thanks, chat. Uh, make it a tense situation even more funnier. Um, Injurian tried to defuse the situation and drag B away as the group made for the barracks, which is where the location of uh, Goldhammer is. You, you, you spoke to Goldhammer after coming out with a entourage of uh, armed guards to the teeth. Um, he was asked, um, he, he asked you to take the dwarf to the cathedral and have his ailments moved, and when he you lot return we can discuss things further did you make it clear that this dwarf was six foot tall shit yeah yeah he was he was a butch he was a butch six foot tall dwarf yes a dwarf with gigantism i think like a six foot tall right. dwarf to make you think mm. Mm, yes <laughs> but nonetheless you're headed off to the cathedral with a i think a blind and Moot the wolf. Mm, Did we not fix something on the way? A pardon? Yeah, Didn't we <laughs> fix something on the way? Oh, we fixed his deafness. Okay. Yeah, you fixed his deafness so he can hear you. Um, what? So you approach to the cathedral and notice that the um, cathedral is of grand nature. It is massive. Um, it has the a big statue depicting um Moradin 
with his hammer, anvil, all around. You can tell that this is a dwarven settlement uh, with, with Moradin, um, the main worship. Um, you go through the grand gates into what appears to be a courtyard of such with guard, a garden in the center. Um, my chat is still not working properly, I need to fix it. Um, with the... Oh, I know why. Uh, with the gesture uh, of gardens galore and multiple different um, areas in this cathedral that you could go to that depicts different um, deities. question is, where's my book? Oh, I think I left my book downstairs. This is so professional of me. Ha! Oh well, let's do it. <laughs> I do it old school. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, you're in the, the courtyard. I need to get my book. Really do need to get my book, but I might be able to do it here. Hang on. Uh, just asking. I'm just asking your wife. Oh, please, yeah. Um, <laughs> where is the? Where is my bag? Dear wife, can you please get my book? Is this the um, wife that wouldn't even give him a hug? Yeah. Not, I don't blame her, really. And just, just to let you know, your stream D and D Beyond overlay is of the wrong campaign characters. And I thank you for that because I am a professional. I'm making sure that you are awake, and because you are a what awake. Oh, what's this? What's this? I'm gonna redeem something already. What's this? <laughs> you want to guess <laughs> what was redeemed? Wild magic. Wild ma magic. Wild magic alert. Wild magic. magics. Attention, everyone. Wild magics. Do you know what? This is a tense situation. I need my book. 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 <laughs> um, talk about yourself for two minutes. Discuss what you're going to do. Gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. You're right, Jim. Ah. Yeah, I'm all right. Where's my book? Welcome back. I just want to say hello because I haven't spent yet. How are you? I'm all right. Overworked, underpaid. Yeah. I'm now doubly overworked because my fellow team leader's gone on maternity leave, so that's all good. Oh. Uh oh. Actually, well done. Dan's getting his foot. All right, shit face. Let's go. What, and they're not bringing in like a maternity temp? No. No? That's a bit they're, harsh. Well, so you're double loaded, basically. Yeah, basically. I mean, they're, they're talking about offering a, a, <laughs> someone a temporary sort of can step up to it and get a, pay, a bit of a pay boost, but yeah, maternity cover. That's <laughs> yeah, but given given how busy everyone is, I think anyone that would took that would be mental. Nice, because right. it's not like their actual job's going to go away. They're just going to be doing extra work. We have. I found it, guys. Found it. Right. So we have um a a statue of what appears to be um. There it is. Um, a grand male figure, armoured up to the teeth, um, sword, shield, but the shield is in front of him as if in, he's in a tower, so he looks like a knightly figure. Um, and he has a massive sun engraved over this shield. That's one of the statues in here. You have um, well. Where's my other? Where's my other list? We have a a um, more overgrowny sort of area. There's like vines going up around this this um, uh, archway, and at the top of the archway is a big giant claw coming out. Um, we've got, there's uh, a section where there's a, uh, a female, a slim female character, um, with holding what appears to be grain and wheat, as well as a rose that is blooming in, in like, like it's like a big 
head of a rose blooming. Um, and there's one more. There is one with a big harp um, in front of what appears to be a very short <laughs> um, gnome. So the harp is bigger than the gnome. But it looks like he's playing this harp. And that is uh, what is... And then obviously you have the big central point of Moradin himself standing uh, where you can walk through his legs into uh, what appears to be some sort of like ceremonial chamber sort of thing where you see clergymen walking around and other um, patrons and stuff like that. Do the statues look like they're dwarves as well? Uh, no, not all of them, no. Obviously not the gnome. <laughs> no. Uh, we've got a human, um, we've got an elf, and we've got a dwarf. And obviously a claw. <laughs> so, animal. Is the claw holding something, or is it literally just a... Um, no, it's just a claw coming out of the wall, like a like just a paw with, with, with sharpie point. That is all... Where are you taking this dwarf? That's a weird trick. Anywhere? Uh, anything? Anyone? Do it look like there's anyone standing around that is waiting for someone to approach them? Anyone investments? Um, uh, no. There's a, there, there's people with investments walking around all the places. Um, there's like, you know, it's like Assassin's Creed, you get that, that, that group of them that walks through, you get that all the time as well. A clergy. Yeah, I, I was trying to think of the right word for it. <laughs> yeah. Try and get the attention of one of the investments walking past and see if they'll actually pay attention or change, look at me. Okay. Um, basically... You get the attention of someone and uh, uh, turns around and says, how may, how may I help you? Hail, brother. Hail. We have a man here in need of uh, medical attention. He's afflicted with many illnesses and uh, Goldhammer from the barracks has sent us to get him healed up and recovered. Ah, Goldhammer. Yes, uh, so you are more likely to go through the Moradin section. Go through the Mor Moradin section. Look for... Look for the... Um, Brother Astor. And he will be able to help you. But yeah, the direwolf was casually strolling with you, yes. Um, you'll be able to help you with what you need. Many thanks, and then uh, start question. wandering forward with them. What mm -hmm. was the name of that guy you just said? Brother... <coughs> Aster. Aster. A-S-T-E-R. A-S-T-E-R. T-E-R. Okay. Um, and he basically gets his fist and he pumps it to his chest as if he's like, Yeah! <laughs> If, if like yes brother <laughs> well, I do like half heartedly like I'm almost mocking him <laughs> stop mocking me <coughs> I will reciprocate in kind <laughs> and move through to the uh, Moradin section okay okay so you go through the Moradin section um, it is bustling there is people in here there is there is crying um, female dwarfs there is um, like they, they look like they've been through a shit time. Um, you've got dirty face, cuts, and they're just sitting there praying. Um, every cubicle in here, a pew, sorry, rather, let's get it right, is occupied. You have a gentleman at the very end in a, in a investments preaching about how Moradin is going to fix this 
He's going to look after us all. Um, the two catastrophic events that has happened recently is not going to take us all. Then there's not. We're going to bounce back from this. The magics in the world is going to be safe. The agriculture, not agriculture, the uh, construction of this world would be safe. Moradin Hammer needs to hit metal. He's basically shouting um, as you're um, approaching. There's um, clergymen either side, and they all stand with their, with, with their hands in their vestments, and they all nod towards you as you enter. One of them says, I do apologise, but we have no seating available. But you are willing to stand. So we don't need any seats. We are here looking for Brother Aster to cure this man of his ailments. He was sent by Goldhammer. Brother Aster, you say? All right. Yep. Okay. Come on, come on, fellow dwarf. Follow me. Um, you you all gonna go? Even <laughs> everyone? <laughs> I don't know. I it did to. kind of. It did kind of sound like only the dwarf was invited. It is up to you guys. You can yeah. follow if you wish. You don't have to. You don't want to. I. I don't think I want to be involved with this um, racist, racist clergyman. I, I'm <laughs> kind I, of with Castiel. It, it makes me uncomfortable being here. So yeah. I. I, I um. I want to hang back, but I do have an ulterior motive. So there's something I actually want to do. Bunny's going to follow Indurin. Okay. Indurin? Um, yeah. I'm going to yeah, follow I'm... the clergy guy. Okay. I'd go with... Or try to. So whoever... Might fall over halfway past. Whoever goes through... Um, go, goes with... Uh, you, you're taking into another chamber. This chamber is next to the main um, seating area of this um, hall. Um the people that stay all hear this preacher shout about how the latest catastrophe, yet mere hours old, um, will not hurt the Wizards College. The Wizards College is strong and um, their magics will not falter. Um, yes, they may be hiccuped. Yes, there may be hurdles. Yes, they may have to try and fix some things. But we have each other. As Moradin looks over us in the his shining hammer, he will look over, over us all and protect us. Um, the beast in the mountains has done his damage, but we will come back strong. Um, yeah, he basically preaches on about all that, um, trying to make everyone better. Uh, so, the guy's going into the next room. So you're going into a hall, like a corridor. Inside here, you've got uh, murals of of and great anvils, great forges, mountains with fire erupting out of it. Hey, that looks like the main mountain of this 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 county, this area. Um, but it's erupting. Looks old. Looks looks ancient. Um, you you are approaching two double doors. Bust open the double doors, and inside here, you are greeted by a emergency mess hall. Is that mess hall? Um, where the, where the, where the injured are gathered? You've got you've got infirmary. Burn, infirmary that's it. Yeah, you've got dwarfs everywhere either unconscious bleeding out or even um <coughs> but, no, sorry they look like they were they were in a bad situation but they're being cared for by the clerics of moradin there is clerics everywhere um it is a big room and um you see what appears to be a um, catastrophic event is being cleared up in here. Um, must be about 50 to 100 people here alone, just alone. Are they like in beds or in chairs? Or? Uh, makes your beds, 
Um, that it's like a, an emergency like uh, setup area for an infirmary, basically. Um, whoever's in there, perceptions for me, please. Second. Click on my character. Am I supposed to see anything on the map at the moment? I'm not, am I? No, not yet. No. Okay, so I literally just need to roll perception. You should own. You should see the main page. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, that's the worst ever. What we got from the dice is. Let's have a look. Actually, no. That that's good because I had disadvantage anyway, so I'm I'm not gonna do <laughs> anything. We have a natural one. <laughs> what? And a natural twenty. What? To balance that out. What? And a natural twenty. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've got, what, right, Endurance got a 24, Buddy's got a 23, and Gabrielle's got a bad 7. Oh. He's high, leave him alone. To be honest, uh, a skill check doesn't automatically fail on the 1, so that 7 is still low. So, Enduring and uh, Bunny, you notice that there is a gentleman. Um, he's an elf in nature, tall, she sticks out like a sore thumb at the moment. But he's not wearing the normal vestments. He's wearing vestments, but they've got like a gold trim. It's got Morden hammer on his back. And every time he turns, you see it on his sash that goes across. He looks like he stands out from everyone else. Must be the important guy then. <laughs> It's busy. People are walking in and out, in and out. So I, should, I, should I do the wild magic on the queue wounds that this cleric's going to do? Do you want to keep it as a player-only thing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm messing about. I'm messing about. <laughs> so confused. Okay. Um, Hello. <laughs> so uh, the dwarf that we've walked in here with is he just is he still with Enduring? Ah, uh, he's being guided by you guys. Uh, Indurin, are you gonna take? Yeah, we'll help him along and tell, we'll tell him basically what's going on. The dwarf seems he's not deaf anymore. Yeah. Um, and I'll try and walk up to the guy with the special robes. <coughs> I mean, he seems to be barking orders out at the moment. He's like, that man there needs critical care. He needs a regeneration. He needs uh, restoration. He needs some um, healing. Um, he just needs some an ear to listen to. Um, yeah, he, he's and then he goes, "Yes, what? What, what are you doing here? What, what, what are you doing? Are you, are you injured? Do you need help?" Yeah, you say, injured? Brother Aster, I presume, and then I'm gonna do the hand thing that the guy at the front of the church did. In front of the and then Asta, he, he does that. Ah. Um, gold hammer sent us to. Uh, Get this man healed up. We retrieved him from the mines outside of town. He seemed to be infested with some sort of fungal disease, which I've managed to cure some of, but he needs treatment for the rest. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Terrible. The perfect evolution of Beards is back. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> One shade being shaved off this weekend. Um, anyhow. He turns around and um, looks at the dwarf. He goes up to him, he puts his hand on the face of this dwarf, and he's like, hmm, interesting. He says some arcane words. If you want to do an arcana check, you certainly can. If you're I trained mean, in not my that thing. matter, yeah, I was going to say, if you're trained in that matter. He's like, hmm, yes, hmm. 17. He's definitely cast a spell from the arcane nature, and it is um, from the school. You can tell by the the words that is being incited. Necro, necro no, I'm joking. Um, He's draining the life force out of him. <laughs> We've got to stop him. Oh, there it is. Divination. He's doing a divination spell. Um, you're not quite sure what spell he's doing, 
but it's definitely divination and it doesn't look like it's going to hurt him um as he's saying these words he's like ah oh, okay i see see a very scarred individual and he goes all right guys i need four of you please and i need your largest diamond dust going please get go to the back and get some we need him we need him now this man needs some medical attention he is deafened and he is muted as well as badly scarred we might not be able to fix all the bad scars but we can probably get his ailments back so sit him over there in a corner and he should be right as rain within a few hours uh, most likely being able to be discharged this evening um don't worry i'll get gold hammer to come and collect him when he's finished don't need to be around for this sounds good and i'll walk away okay. i will wait for uh, for, for bunny to finish her thing so oh 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 sorry i didn't see some message uh, but, uh, okay um <laughs> yeah so <laughs> sorry this is really in tongues uh, See, That's the response Bunny gets, just some <laughs> dwarf speaking in tongues. So you go up to, um, it, it looks like a dwarf has taken a nasty wound to the chest, like a gash wound across here. You can tell that by his clothing is torn and he has a scar starting to form where it is. It's not open, he's breathing, he's alive and he's, he's he talks in like, like, oh my God. We got, we got overrun. <coughs> the big beast, he was there, there, everywhere. He took a claw right across my chest. I fell. <coughs> I fell. My friend he got torn in two. My other friend got incinerated. And my other friend, he just disappeared in my eyes. <coughs> Lucky to come out of here. This beast you speak of, what is it? I, uh, I don't know. It dwells in the in the stone. It just came out of the stone like a, a beast dwelled beneath us. Took chunks and chunks of rock. And then each head did something different. Took us out one by one. Sorry, by... could you just repeat that bit? <sighs> <laughs> Each head. The, so, so, so <laughs> more, more than one head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About, about eight or ten, I would say. Yes, definitely eight or ten. <coughs> On one beast. <laughs> one torso, yes. Okay. Uh, rest, rest, friend. Thank you for the information. No worries. Wait, <coughs> Laura didn't look after you. I didn't look after me. <laughs> Moradin's got my, got my hand. I'm gonna sort of half-heartedly kind of she doesn't really know what she's doing gonna do the the thing <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> yeah that thing <laughs> okay um, the other guys that listen to the sermon he seems to start to wrap things up um, and he, he he starts to wrap things up by saying um May Moradin accept, uh, please everyone, accept this Moradin's blessing um, as it will help and aid you in this t in this time of need. And um, as he does so, he says some divine words. Um, anyone of the divine nature could make a arcana check. Oh, uh, religious check, maybe. What the fuck is arcana cost? Arcana check, do arcana fuck. If you so wish. I do. 14. Um, so it's an enchantment incantation magic. As he's trying to say, uh, 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 he's trying to cast a spell to put enchantment over everyone in this room. Um, I'm going to ask everyone if you are gonna fight it to do a wisdom saving throw for me please just a um clarification does that include the people who are not in that room 
Um, I would say so. Yes, I would say so. So it'll be uh, whoever stayed in that room um, would do so. What if we just want to boop it on the nose? Because I'm sure Castiel, myself, and Arthur didn't go in, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm not in there. No. 18 on my saving throw. Okay. So you're fighting it, basically. You're not, you're yeah. not allowing it. Yeah, okay, fine. So is this only who's in with... Who was in... Who didn't go into the infirmary? Who didn't go in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so what have I got to do? Wisdom saver throw, please. Yeah, okay. It's a uh, charm effect, if it matters. Yeah, it matters. Uh, Vail, it, it, it will I'll impact it. on everyone. Uh, but for this situation, it's the 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 um, ley lines are behaving itself. But I'm sure the next one will be Ooh. a problem. <laughs> oh, wisdom. Oh, okay. Uh, you rolled advantage there, Castelia. So 18? Oh, no, no. I, I rolled twice by mistake. But 18. 18, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so Castillo, you passed. Uh, Rashala failed. Uh, Arthur failed. Um, you're, you have a, a wave of, a, of an emotional change. You feel like you are... Your sadness, if you had sadness, is lifted. You're a little bit happier. A little bit more controlled. Um... It's not a big change, but it's noticeable. Uh, Castiel, you do know that you were attempted to be charmed. Do I know who just tried to cast a spell on me? Uh, you would know it came come from the. Um, well, you could you could depict that it came from the person who said uh, divine words at, at the altar. Basically, I... says. Oh. I'm gonna draw my sword. I put my hand. I'm gonna put my hand on your, on your arm to. I don't know. <laughs> hey, your blade. Just like I don't know. I don't think now is the place, or time. She's trying to cast spells on us. Yeah, but I mean, it's all look good. A, look around. Yeah, look around you. I don't think uh, anyone means you any harm here. You see. I'm gonna tell the guy that if he tries to cast another spell on me. I won't hold back next time. I will sheath my sword. You're an angry little man, aren't you? <laughs> the giant robot, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a robot. Maybe. He's got mixed bloody... He doesn't know what human <laughs> emotions are. Uh, anyhow, um, but everyone do see that the the crying old lady, the cry, crying ladies um, start to stop. Um, you've got the battered, um, battered individuals that look like they've been through wars starting to pick up a he up his head. Um, there's, there's, there's a change happened here. Mood has changed. And the sermon is over and he goes up the back. Um, the clergyman that was at the start would respond to you saying that though and he would say well on Moradin's hammer we do apologize but there's no evil doings here I do do apologize if you felt threatened but you shouldn't feel threatened here in the in the eyes of Moradin but again I do apologize we're here, accept your apology we're here to spread um more happiness than fear, I think, is what we're trying to do. Okay, the other guys join. You're in. The sermon is finished. You started wrapping up. You've got the praying individuals looking a little bit more different than you actually noticed when you left. As if that sermon actually did something. And um, Bunny's going to relay to the others what she was told by the wounded big eight to ten headed creature oh. slash if slash burn burn if that's the case i think i need to leave already? no just something don't don't taste right it's quite a sour 
feeling about that story. I'm just going to walk out the way I came. Did, did he say where he was from? Who? Where he was from? The dwarf that you spoke to. What, where the dwarf was from or where well, the beast was from? Well, either or. Both. <clears throat> from the mountains, didn't he say? Um, he said he it erupted out of rock from yeah, a rock that. society. So you can assume it's from a rocky place. He didn't say exactly where it was. He didn't say exactly where he was from. But you could probably figure out the mountains in in dire peril. Uh, yeah, maybe there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because because of the mountain and the erupting. Or was that just the mural on the wall? Uh, no, the mural on the wall was like erupting mountains. That's, that's all it was. And, so like uh, a and volcano? Battles. Yeah, like a volcano with a battle scene around it. Yeah, that's what the mural right. was. Okay. Um, so so has Rashala just wandered off then? Yeah, I've just walked back out, back out into, the, into the city. So you've I'm gone out. through the courtyard and out in the city. Okay, fine. I'll follow him. Okay. What is... Bunny's gonna turn <clears throat> Bunny's gonna turn to Indra and say, Well that's that's a little odd. No? Strange strange to be sure. The... <laughs> I was expecting a little Irish accent then, to be sure. <laughs> to be sure. <laughs> well, uh, can I ask one of the clergy that's standing around where all these people came from, specifically? Uh, from far and wide, my friend. Um, most of the villages from around the main city, Mountain Reach, are uh, coming for aid. Um, loved ones of missing um, warriors that were sent to help this the main city. Um, Does you know, this beast have a name? Uh, well, it has many names. Devourer of cities. Breaker of rock, um, oh, culling, so nice guy, culling of man. Everyone calls it different names. It doesn't have a name by book. And where do I find this monster? Well, I'm hoping it's dead. Who would have killed it? Well, Moradin, of course. His hammer strikes true from the through the eyes of the warriors. Do you mean you sent a bunch of warriors off to kill this beast? That the whole place came came to aid. We're still waiting for the overseas help, but it's not here yet. And where are they? So where where are they expected to fight this monster? From the origin, I've, I assume um, in the in the ruins of the city. Is this the other city who we're talking about? The, the main city. Yeah, okay, right. Mountain Reach. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, anyone up for a journey? I'm not going there. <laughs> Certain death. <laughs> You're a madman. <laughs> and Seems rather above our pay grade, don't you think? I'm going to go is, isn't sell that some what, stuff. Isn't that what we are uh, we're about? Isn't that what we're doing? We're, we're trying to seek the... Evil where evil is found and, and, and smite it. Some of us almost died to some mushroom men. I don't know if we can handle a huge beast with seven heads and breathing fire. But there's there's enough of us, we could deal with that. Yeah. Okay, um so Bunny goes off as well. Thanks the um direwolf to one side and cast some arcane words and uh, yeah. Um, you get the image as as you're talking in wolf. Talking in wolf. Yeah. Um, you get the idea that the wolf was in from around the um the forest area of the mountain. Um, it was just a mere cub not old not very very old at all um mother and father um and tribe oh oh yeah about a minute 
Um, yeah, thank you, Vales. Um, get an idea that um, the the parents and tro the the wolf clan, whatever they call it, pack. There we go. Is decimated. And it's been wandering the roads for several, several, several days. Could you do me a favour? Can you just um, press the wall magic button, please? Hey. Yeah, still casting a spell. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. Boop. That many. Oh no, well, oh, bull sacks. Okay, um, we want, oops, no, no, they don't, they don't, they don't, I need to roll this one, this one. That sucks. So, as you cast your arcane words to speak with animals, it goes off, no problem, because you've already talked to it, but then... The void, the ley line, um, starts to crackle, starts to get feedback, um, and you, it's like static. Everything you touch, you just, zzz, zzz. Um, so obviously for an hour, if you attempt to cast a spell, you have a DC 10 constitution save for it, otherwise it doesn't work. I'm wearing an apt t-shirt. Yes, that is, that is <laughs> true, Pikachu! Love it! Thanks. Uh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. Uh, right. Um, so, oh God, you, you. All right. Okay. Gabriel is walking off. You see him walking out as well. Stumbling, probably. He's still probably got some shroom smoking his lungs still. It's still, it's still a bit oh, no, high. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyone gonna follow? Or is you just gonna let him fend for himself? I'm sticking with Indorin. There's plenty of flower gardens in here. Well, um, I think I'll oh, head out with uh, Rashala and Castiel to find out what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'll wander out as well. Does the dire wolf just keep following us, or? Yeah, yeah. The dire wolf is your best friend. Oh, he likes me now, does he? Every, he oh, likes so he's got a lead. Okay, cool. Got a, yeah, a lead. Bees could be could be uh, riding it. Does he need a lead? Probably not, but you never know. No, the lead's for bees, isn't it? <laughs> Dan, Dan, I want to just quickly stop you. Mm -hmm. Like one of those child harnesses. Yeah, what's up? Uh, if you look in the stream, we can see your whispers. Yeah, that's, yeah, I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. Okay, just, just sort of point that out. Don't <laughs> <laughs> so so no, look at the, the whispers, Sean. I was going to say, you made me look at the stream now. No. <laughs> I, I just looked at the stream because I'm keeping an eye on chat. To, to be honest, and then I just spotted, and I thought I'd point it out in case you weren't aware. Well, none get... of us can see you looking at the yeah. stream, Phil, because all I can see is your forehead. <laughs> yeah. Me meta gaming is punishment by negative XP, all right? I was not metagaming. No, no, I'm just saying. I put the screen off to one centre, so I can only see the chat, not the actual video. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> if, I, if I remember correctly, that wasn't actually a problem a few times. Uh, no, I don't know what's happened. Something's happened, and I haven't got time to fix it right now. I'll yeah, no, it'll just be fixed point it out. So thank you. No worries. I appreciate that. Um, so, in regard to that, okay, um, Whispering is a pain in the ass anyway. <laughs> Just whisper to the stream one then. Yeah, I'm going to. Instead of whispering to Dan, just whisper to the stream. Yeah, thing. yeah, that work. Yeah. <clears throat> With multiple wild magic, stand straight. Yeah, your magic will not be able to go off at all for several hours. Um. Anyway. Uh. Right. To be fair, you whisper me wherever. Don't mind. Um. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Who wants to resolve their fucking 
secret stuff first, Sean. <laughs> Hang on. I, it's not really secret. I I already said what I was going to do. Yeah. When Arthur said, "Hey, do you want to take a trip?" So I said, all I'm no, gonna... you're crazy. I'm going to go sell stuff." All I'm going to say to you is, "How are you going to find one?" I'm going to literally go up to a guard and say, "Do you know where any of uh, some jewelers are?" Okay. And he's going to go around and he's going to go and point and guide you to the jewelers. Okay then. I'm going to see if I can get a good price for several several gems. Before everyone sort of splits off, if we're all within earshot just outside the cathedral, mm -hmm. I'll say, shall we all meet back at the same inn that we met in? The tap. In the tap. Uh, 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 people split up to do different things, then? Wow. Yeah, I think we're just taking down, downtime at the minute. Yeah. Wait, did we even get paid for that? No. No. We Fuck will him. do once Goldhammer gets the dwarf back. Uh, so we basically got the rest of the evening to. Uh, oh, okay. To until wait. the guy's healed. I'm going back to the tavern then. I've got no other. How, will, he, how will we know when he's healed, though? Uh, we'll be contacted. Very, how will they know where, we're at, where we are? I suppose yeah. they'll find us. The town guard. How do they do anything? Yeah. You were summoned to a meal <laughs> at his table. Oh, were we? Mm -hmm. I don't oh. remember that. Oh, I'm, going, I'm going to the meal at the table then. Yep. I'm never, never going to turn down a free meal. You're a tad early, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, we're well, about eight hours early. At the right appropriate time. Is <laughs> there an open bar? <laughs> uh, yeah, there is, yeah. Well, I'm trying to whisper this, eh? Well, let me finish what this. What is the problem? <laughs> there we go. Right, done. So... And uh, right, let's let's go around the table, and we're gonna go. Bunny, where are you going? Or what are you doing? What would you like to do? Let's go around the table. Bunny first. Um, a bunny has taken a liking to Injurin, so she's just gonna follow him wherever he's going. Uh, Gabriel, you're going off to find the uh, gems. You do so. Um, shop is obvious it's got a big storefront as you're in a precious precious gem precious gem. metal continent <laughs> so yeah it is a big building you know a massive sign out with a big diamond as, as one of the overlays you find it no problem does, does bunny know that uh which, no wrong one Oh, no, not Rishala. Gabriel, Gabriel has. Does Does Bunny know that Gabriel's gone to find a jewelers? Um, I said I'm going to go shopping. Yes, that's all, all that, you got. That was an open invitation for anyone. If they want to, they can follow me. Okay, that's fine. She just wanted. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. Okay, well, you go in in in, in a moment. So let's go down to Rishala. How are you doing your thing? Uh, I'm going to go find a florist. Or someone selling flowers, and I'm going to go to the closest flower garden. Hey, so you're... I'm just going to spend time there. You ask about, and you Aww. get the inclination that there's no building, but there is a cart so that a travelling florist, basically. So an old, yeah, that's fine. Older lady sells flowers from all around the place, um, and it takes you a little while to find her. You do find her. Okay, we'll go and resolve that in a minute. Uh, Enduring, what are you wanting to do? Uh, I think I'd probably head, just head towards the tap and probably get some lunch and check the bounty board again. Okay. The message board and see what's on there, if there's anything new. Like the seven-headed monster? Yeah, I'll go yeah. and uh, <laughs> sort that in a minute. Uh, B? Um... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just eating my dinner. Uh, um, sorry. She most probably all this time would have been um, sat on top of the dire wolf. Do you know when you take a, a, a baby for a drive in the car? I'm just going to go around. She's with very it. like docile at the minute, like you know, just mumbling to herself. So whoever's con got control with the wolf's got control with me. <laughs> so it'll be Bunny then. Okay. So Bunny's, you're following Endurian. Endurian's going to the tap. So the wolf's going to go to the tap. There we go. Um, all right then, uh, forehead. Uh, <laughs> to forehead. 
<laughs> oh god. Arthur? What? I don't know whether I should have felt offended or not, though. <laughs> what, what I saw well, we is your forehead. Yeah. 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 Definitely, definitely not wrong. <laughs> it's definitely factual. Uh, what, what we got? Oh, it's because it's all minimised. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, <laughs> your captain forehead. <laughs> I'm faded, haven't I? There he is. I'm, I'm, just going, I'm just going to the tap with the others. I'm, I've got no other business. Okay, no problem. Um... Then we've got uh, Castiel. Uh, I was following Rishala. Okay. So I'm going to kind of chill out and wait a uh, polite distance for him to be done with his stuff. Okay. So let's go around. So um, Gabriel, you enter the um, precious gem and material shop. You can see it's busy. There is people in here with sacks and sacks of stuff. Um, there's counters galore. There is workers behind the counter, some gnomes, some halflings. Um, it's busy, and you, you, you're you hearing big sacks of heavy things being dumped onto the desk. And you hear donations, donations. Um, um, is 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 welcome here from the uh, clergy at the back not clergy from the shop workers at the back um you find yourself a yep slip yourself in yeah I'd eventually try and sell i make it clear sell not donate the gems okay. so um you, you you handing them all over um I'm going to save two. Which ones? Uh, the black opals. Both of them. And yeah. I will, yeah, I'm going to be keeping both of them. I'll be selling those. And those. Because. So, uh, translation brown with gold. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You never gave me any form of sizes, so that's the best I've got for you. Yeah, that's the descriptions that you've got. Okay, so um, you plonk them down and on on a um, covered desk, and the desk starts to decline to a two and a half foot height. Um, About the size for the workers. Yeah, the gnome goes. Uh, uh, donate, trade, or sell. Sell. You do know that a sell is of a discounted rate. Okay. Due to the crisis going on right now. Hey, right. Uh, let's have a look what you have here. Calls it out. He, and he sees the rocks fall out and he picks them up. He picks up the, the translucent brown with golden center. And he goes, um, oh, okay. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's a banded agate. Yeah, that's a pristine banded agate. Very nice. Um, five gold. Puts it down. Um... He picks up. Ah, oh, sorry, that's the the second one. Translation: stripe brown, blue, white, or red. Um. Uh, the other one. Oh yeah, he picks it up and he goes. Ah, yes, that's a tiger's eye. See the eye there? Very easy to tell. That's a tiger's eye. Um, five gold. Puts it down. Um, the transparent pale blue. He picks it up. Goes. Ah, that's easy. That's a blue quartz. Ah, oh, that's the one that's good. Five gold. Um, the opaque striated light. I can't even pronounce that. in dark green. Um, uh, hmm. goes to his little little side book. He flips it. Okay, hmm, okay. That's a that's a malachite. The two of them, okay. Five gold each. So uh, ten gold. Yeah, totes for that, yeah. Opaque, light blue and green is next. Ah, this is easy. This is turquoise. Ah, uh, all five gold each. I'll give you a, a 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 gold for the lot. Uh, hold on. Okay, 35 gold. Deal? 
deal. Yeah. And he puts the rocks into a little chute and it, and it, and it goes down to the back room and he, he waits for a minute. It's just one moment. No worries. Uh, whilst we're waiting, can you just tell me uh, what these two black open ones are? And I show them him. I, I don't want to sell or trade them. I just wish for an would like an appraisal. That is, uh, f that is five copper each to appraise. I sure. could say five gold again. I was going <laughs> if to. it was five gold, I would have not let him. I would have. So um, I he raises the table up. He goes, please, please. I'll give him a silver. Just make it easy. Okay, nice. Thank you. And he, and he lowers it down to his, his eyes. He looks at it for his eye glass. He looks quite close. Um, which ones were they? That was the uh, black opaque, opaque black. Black, black yeah? opaque. Ah, uh, this is obsidian. Ah. Okay. Thank you. You're certainly welcome. And then you hear this, uh, like, steampunky sort of train come out with a, with a bag of, of something on the back of it. And he goes, ha, he picks it out and he gives you a pouch on the table. The table rises up and he goes, 35 gold as promised. There we go. Have a very pleasant day. And if you get any precious, remember, any precious medals, anything like that, any precious gems, we want it. Okay. And um, have a nice day and I'll head back to the actually no i head to the wizard's school next okay Th this doesn't need to be role played but i would like to just see just uh, go over some... yeah right. yeah just have a quick peek and check and such okay let's go next let's go to um rashala and um castiel who's gone oh boy the uh old old lady um human lady who is pushing a small cart around with lots of flowers upon it. <coughs> She's uh, like, bunches for hello. you, bunches for your wife, bunches for the loved ones, bunches for the dead. Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> yeah something like that. Uh, okay, of anything red. Anything red, you say? Okay, now. Um, Size-wise, small, medium, large? Uh, let's go for a medium. Medium, okay. She, she, she hobbles over, she picks up some beautiful red roses, some tulips, some um, some flowers that you've never seen before. She puts them into a bunch, wraps them up, packages them and goes, that would be two copper, please. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I under like, I don't know, two silver. Do you give me too much? Uh, it's fine. Keep the change. I'm looking you up and down, going. What's in that bucket? Have a wonderful day. Look after yourself in these troubled times as well as others. Make sure that you spread the love as a flower would do. Yeah. And you. <laughs> and I'll just walk off towards the flower garden, back towards the flower gardens. Awkward. <laughs> so crazy, not bothered. <laughs> okay, you head back to the flower garden, and you're greeted uh, in the courtyard. There is blooming flowers everywhere. There's a small, there's a small tree growing in the middle. Uh, is Castiel still on my tail? Yeah, I mean, unless you say to me, "Hey, I want some private time," I'm oh, no, just no, no, tagging no. along. No, no, I'm not going to tell you to piss off, but I'm going to. Go in and I don't know. Find a quiet spot there where there's not. Is there anyone there? Um, it's quite difficult, but you could find like a recreational area that people go to to have quiet thoughts. There's a couple of people in it, but they they keep them to themselves. Um, but the That's outside, right. I just don't want to start freaking people out when I'm going to start burbling <laughs> out infernal now. Contemplation garden. Everyone's well, I was already told. I was literally told an hour ago, really. You might want to keep the infernal to yourself. For so the I'm garden, off. yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go off, find a quiet ish space. I'm going to kneel down. I'm going to take off my little bracelet and I'm going to lay the flowers. And I'm just going to start talking in Infernal. Anything particular? Just saying, like, 
I haven't seen you in a while. I wonder if you're okay. Okay. I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, Castiel, this language, do you understand it? So? Sorry, what was that? Uh, I'm just going to double check. Nope. I only speak common. <laughs> no comprende. I do not compute. Um, okay, so he says some um, infernal words. Um, and as you're doing so, you put you put the flowers down. Um, and you feel a tap on the shoulder. Castiel, you see a hooded gentleman. Um, just come out of nowhere. You don't know where he come from. You didn't see where he was. He just turned up, tapped on the shoulder. And he says... Nine words in, in, in infernal. The language may be frowned upon on others. Don't be put down. Is it? it is for your true nature. As we all do, look after one another in this dying time. Don't stay from the, the path. With that, I bid you farewell. He walks off and he disappears in the crowd. <gasps> Oh, okay. I wasn't, Not ominous at all. I wasn't quite expecting that. Ah, I, I literally, I do say that in common <laughs> to Cassiel. Yeah. That kind of wasn't what was supposed to happen. Yeah. That was weird. Did right? you see? Yeah. Did you see what he looked like? I mean, I did I get a glimpse of his face at all. Or? You saw the back end of him. Brown cloak. Very, very big, it. big guy. But spoke in a soft... Uh, well, uh, it was a soft voice for Infernal. <laughs> for you, it was... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hmm. Strange. Mm -hmm. Anything you, you want to do now, Castiel? No. I'm, I mean, you're, Castiel's really new. Like He's not long been made, so he doesn't really know the world. I'm learning. Oh, everything's new to him. He's just kind of wandering around like, oh, wow. What's this? A door? Wow. <laughs> All right, Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This this is how the door works. What? Turn this thing here? Shit, it shot me in the face. Don't like doors. <laughs> Smash it. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, without... Don't take him anywhere near a scrapyard. <laughs> <laughs> Try and hump everything. Uh, yeah, I'll put my bracelet back on. Mm, uh, electromagnetic monsters. And then I'm just going to try and, I don't know, go back to the inn, go back to the tap. Go back to the tap, cool. So the guys at the tap, um, right, so you've got B on the wolf being controlled by Bunny who is following Indurin. So Indurin goes and get to the... Um, the tap, the board is still there. You got the um, there's still some old um, notices on there. Um, you've got uh, um, some of the ones that are taken down from some people. Are you see where they were, where pins were, and a bit of parchment was left behind. There seems to be a new one on there. Um, it's been put in the middle to try and cover up a big empty space. Um, you still get the precious metals one, you'll get the missing person. Uh, there's a few more missing persons popping up as well. Have you seen this loved one? That sort of thing. Okay. What's the big one? Uh, the one in the middle seem to say. Is that a missing persons one? No, the, the one in the middle is different. The one in the middle is actually made out of some sort of fine parchment. Can't quite tell what parchment it is. Um, it's definitely different to what is used for everything else. So it's either finely, finely crafted, um, or it, it's, it's got an additive on it or something. Um, it, it, it has a very big blank space at the bottom, so it doesn't utilise the space very well on it. it. has words at the top, and the word says, um, the Wizards College needs all able-minded um, uh, casters to attend an immediate um, quest, basically. Doesn't go into any detail. 
just says that and, and it is just a, a small block at the top and the rest of it so about about a quarter of it is text three quarters of it is blank okay I'll leave it there and make a mental note to let Gabriel know when we next see him and head into the tap you go into the tap bustling as always um you, you got the um, hard work in the wharfs in there with the, with the with the dirty faces, um, the, the miners basically. They're still in, they're, they're in there as well. Uh, they're not the same ones. That obviously they don't always sit in there. They they, they do work sometimes. Oh, pummy. Um, you go up to the bar. I take it you order some lunch and and, and drink. <coughs> yep. Uh... Yeah. Whoever's here rounds on me. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. And you hear a yeah, you hear a guy good. next to him go, "Hey, rounds on him!" And he puts out his empty tankard. I'm gonna turn to him and say, "Not for you." Ah. <laughs> and he's like, his face like it's been smacked. <laughs> right. And no one not laughed. <laughs> When the um, bartender comes up, I'll say quietly an extra for this fellow. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, the barkeep remembers you. You stick out like a sore thumb. Um, did a wolf come in? I was just going to say, um, I think um, Bunny and the wolf and B, if she still sat on the wolf, um, after last time when Bunny just felt a little large to be in there she might see if there's like an outside bench table thing that she can yeah. sit at with the wall yeah there's an outside like seating area that you can chill out on and b can have a little ride around with the the wolf just to get used to it she's she's probably fell a kip now <laughs> <laughs> yeah drooling on the wolf uh... <laughs> <laughs> nice all right so you do so um <coughs> so the barkeep recognizes you uh like i said you, you like a sore thumb yes Ah, okay, so uh, drinks, um, beef, how many? How many drinks would you like? Uh, oh. uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Ales, wines, four, fine, standard. Uh, all ales, but they've never specified otherwise. <clears throat> fine, standard. Go for fine. Fine. Ah, nice mammal taste. Um, you said food as well, uh, meat platter, cheeses, um, help yourself sort of thingy. Yeah, sounds good to me. Perfect. So the drinks will be free silver, plus the food on top would be another five copper. So free silver, five copper, please. I'm gonna put uh, four silver on and uh, say keep the rest for a tip. I have got to charge you for that one, I'll take that for that. <laughs> And she pours four, and she goes, and he, he's like looking at you. Uh, I really want one. <laughs> she goes one, two, three, and he goes, there you go. And he's like, oh. and he like cradles it like it's his last beer on earth, um, <laughs> hell on earth. And then um, she says, where are you sitting? And I will bring, we'll get the meat spread out to you. And so we're sitting outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. get one in the winter look, it up. Look for the friendly wolf, and that's where we'll be. Sounds <laughs> okay. like a pup, man. Okay. Hmm. Rebrand? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> okay, cookies. Um, so it doesn't, doesn't take you long. You get your food brought out to you. Um, the, the, the wedge, uh, there's two. There's a female and a man uh, bringing them out. And they get a little bit cautious that there's a wolf there i've been more scared than the thing riding it myself <laughs> yeah. but however um it's only like more of a oh it's in here but not like whoa let's stay clear of it the 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 gentleman actually goes up and tries to pet it i'm gonna roll the dice for this to see how good it goes because i want to roll the dice today yeah a bit of a cautious snapback but doesn't get bitten and he gets a stroke out of it like it 
now only has nine fingers. <laughs> um, you devour your food, drink your drink, and then the um, Rashala and uh, uh, Castiel turn up at the time, and then we've got Gabriel heading to the Wizards College. Right, we'll do Gabriel very quickly. Um, so you're heading to the Wizards College. It is a big building with massive towers and spires going up and uh, the doors are open. Which is weird for a Wizards Quarters because normally they're a bit protective of their own. Mm. The doors are wide open though. No one around. I'm going to go in and just have a quick look around see if I can find uh, any possible magic vendors okay. or vendors of magical ingredients and uh, not ing magical ingredients ingredients from magical spells okay so you i'm go... looking for oh, for the components for find familiar oh okay because i can't get the 100 gp pearl oh have you lost your familiar i never had one you never asked to find the precious the fine metals the precious yeah do you know Bunny's wearing like a truck ton of gems, gems and things? Yeah, <laughs> he's too proud to ask for help. Yeah. And the druid probably would know about a few things or two about rocks and shit. Yeah, especially <laughs> with the background in that. Okie cokies. <laughs> so you walk in, you're greeted by a well dressed wizard. You can tell he's a wizard, he's got the garbs and everything on, and he, he stopped you where you are. He goes, uh, Yes, can I help you? Uh, are you here to enroll in the quest? Uh, what? What quest? You look like you've got arcane. Hang on a minute. He says a few arcane words. You have arcane natures. Yes, sir. are you here for the quest? Uh, hold on. Slow down a minute. What quest? I, I just literally come up here for, to see if I can buy a few components for spells. I couldn't find anything decent quality elsewhere. Okay, so... Um, as you probably, where have you been under a rock for the past seven, uh, 24 I've hours? I've not been on this continent more, uh, le more than a day. Hey. I haven't been, not been here for more than a day. Please just slow down. More like a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm saying <laughs> a day just to make yeah. him clear, sure. c clear off. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm, he's talking about. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Well, um, did you know about the, uh, the artifact, the, the, the magical artifact that's gone missing. The one that powers all the ley lines. The, oh. book, the book of the magics. Yeah, it's just called fun. the Book of Veos. Um, first of all, Dan, mm -hmm. do, can I make an arcana check to know what he's trying to talk about? Of course you can. I'm uh, still at disadvantage. Uh, 18. Pretty good for disadvantage. Um, so, you've got an um, understanding, you know of it, but you don't know details, I'm talking proper details. So you, what you would know is that there is this book that, that's known as a legendary artifact that's out there um, that most wizards gain the power from to become of a ninth level caster. Um, without that... The aid of getting into the ninth level of School of Casting is impossible. The book has gone missing. It's been... Um, it was attacked and raided and the book has been taken and gone. Okay. Um... Uh... Okay. You're rolling? We need every hand, of, we need every wizard sorcerer. I, at, at the oh, minute, I, I can't think. enroll. Why not? I can't enroll at the minute. This I is have... important. Do you not understand how important this is? Listen, you. You you cannot tell me what to do here. I have my own life. And he, stand, and he stands to do up with. and he goes, hmm, you said it again? Listen, you. I'm an eighth level. I, can, I need this book. Yeah, exactly. You no, don't tell me what. You're pretty magic. You're. Listen here, you pompous shit. Fuck off. <laughs> Stop bothering me. And I'm leaving. <coughs> and I walk out. 
take it. He didn't want anyone, anyone, anyone gifted a fireball. I, I'm, just actually <laughs> drop, I'm not going back for anything. I'm just like, nah, so, sod the spell. I'll, I'll get, in the, get it somewhere else. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, you go out. Where are you going? Um, probably to find some cheap shit, charcoal and you wanna get, stuff for the spell. You want to get your spell components. Yeah, I'm not staying I, at the college if he's there. I'm going to say you easily get the, the components you need. It costs you the value that it would normally cost you. Ten. Um, was it ten gold? gold? You could buy as worth. many as you like. Within reason. Wait, what do you mean? So if you need more of it... Oh, so instead of just buying one use, I can buy four uses. Yeah, let, let me roll a dice to see how many is available. You could... could he buy 500? <laughs> Has he got the money? Well, you said, he can buy as, well, you said he can buy as many as he wants. So if he buys 500, then sells them for 10 gold each. <laughs> I have infinite money. Yeah. I like crash oh, yeah. the economy. Uh, there's four lots in this shop. I buy all four lots. Uh, that'll be 40 gold, okay? Oh, I don't have that much. I, I, th I thought you were saying it as I buy, I pay the 10, get as many uses as I need. Never mind. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's what it sounded like you were saying. That's why I was a bit confused. Now, how many would you like? I can only afford one. Okay. You're not, you're not dipping into the other gold. Oh, that's nice. Go I on. just only have... I only had 15 gold. Plus the, the, the 35 you just got. No, I've, I've already said 5 gold to everyone else. I've put my 5 in. I will now... Then you when I get it. to the party, I will inform them of... You now have gained yeah. 5 gold each. Cool. Nice. All right. Okay, so you got one use of that... Some, that spell okay yeah. all right no problem i will i will then go back to the tap and whilst we're at the tap i will find a, a nearest razor and just start casting yeah. the spell so before you get to the tap let's go back to uh rishala and um stiel arriving um they get to do some things before you even arrive so are you doing anything at the tap um the other guys are outside chilling out yeah, I'm I'll buy an ale for uh, Castiel. Grab a grab a meal. Go back outside, and I want to inquire how much for a room. Okay, so you go in. As soon as you go in, Castiel, you walk in, and everyone applauds you. Yeah, that's I right. Am the food eating champion. That's right. It's Castiel, the he the hero. The wiener eater. Mans. <laughs> um, so many wieners. Yep. Yeah. So you go up to the bar. You order two ales, fine or common. What would you like? Fine. Okay, that'd be silver each. So two silver, please. Yeah, is the uh, is the guy I compete against in that eating contest in the bar? Um, you can't quite you can't see him. He's not around. You don't see him. Probably hiding his face for a little bit. <laughs> Um, you inquire about a room. Um, they pull out this big leather bound book and they start flicking through going, uh, Yeah, we've got, we got some rooms. How many would you like? Uh, seven. Seven rooms. Might not be able to do next to each other. Is that a problem? No. Okay. Um, one moment, while well, I check my uh, ledger of money. Surely we only need six rooms in a stable. Um, I have plans. I, I don't think Arthur needs to stay out. in a stable. That's, he can stay with us. <laughs> yeah, he can stay with you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Poor Arthur. You should think Arthur more of him. Talking about Arthur. Well, I was. Arthur was suggesting that the wolf needed somewhere to stay. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Right. So we've With got rider. we've got some um, modest style rooms with a nice feather bed, um, with blankets, or we can go down to the uh, straw beds. What, what, what sort of what sort of combination are you looking for? Oh, beds. I want a room, not a fucking stable. Sleep somewhere, haven't you? Yeah, a bed. 
corner. So, a say straw for cheapness, or would you like a feather? No, oh, we'll have feather. Be five silver each. I don't need a rope. Well, I'm I'm going to pay for mine either way, but yeah. you don't know if he's you don't know that he's booking a room, do you? Yeah, I'm there with. Yeah, he's next door. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she, she pulls out seven keys. She looks at you and go, how, how many rooms did you say you needed? Seven. Three pieces of it. I counted at the wrong time. That's not 35 gold, is it? 35 silver. That'd be 35 silver, please. I'll give her gold. I want to change them. She looks and goes, um, I need three more. No, uh, okay. two and a half more. I'll uh, give her three. I want to change them. Okay. You give her four gold. She gives you um, five silver back. All right. And then um, she goes back to a draw system, pulls out seven keys, and puts them on the, on the desk. What name should I put them under? Uh, <laughs> Put them all in the Rishala, I guess. Rishala, she, she scribbles in a book. Uh, for one night, you need to refresh your room. Please come see us at any point in time. We'll put days on for you, no problem. <coughs> will do. Thank have, you. have a good stay at the tap. I will, I'm sure. Uh, I'll, I'll go back and put all the keys on the table. There you go. Lodgings are secured for the night. Okay. Uh, are Bunny, Bee, and the Wolf still outside? You're all outside. Well, everyone's outside. Everyone. Gabriel turns up later, but he t does eventually to join you. Looking a bit pissed off. Okay, so Rashala's outside and he's put the keys on, on the, the table. table. I thought, I thought table, he was yeah. inside. No, he went outside oh, to, the, okay. to the outside. Okay, okay. I've come out now. Yep. Yeah. About time. Hey. Uh, Oh, my thanks, Rashala. Uh, picks don't, the off the don't thing. swear. <laughs> um, uh, no problem. Least I could do. So, uh, any idea where we, you're all heading off after this? We're going to slay a monster, aren't we? With many heads. Actually, you not. Know, we're going for dinner first, though. <laughs> uh, we were invited to that meal, weren't we, by Goldhammer? We get our payment for the quest. Yeah, there you mm. go. I'm pretty yeah. sure we have another mission we need to do as well. Didn't we take two leaflets at the start? We don't have a lead for the other one. Well, it's not a lead on the dog, though. Yeah. Sorry. Poor joke. <clears throat> Is that a dad joke, Phil? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, dear. So, everyone has a key to the room for the night. Um, are you just mingling around, chilling out? Yeah, I do the... want to bring up conversation, though. Okay. I do. I am. I'm kind of interested in what everyone's uh, reasons are for being here. I guess I don't think we've ever discussed. You could do it over lunch. So discuss away. Yeah. So, uh, any, what brings you here? Anyone? Uh, Am I here at up? this point, by the way, Dan? You are now, yes. Okay. Uh, been, uh, I've been with the clergy for some time and felt like it was time to get out and see the world, get to some adventure, earn some coin for the church when I go back and grow myself as an individual. And some fame and some power, and do some good in the world. Can I? Can I do B? Can I do B? Can I have permission to do B? Wait, what? I, I, I want. I want to introduce B. You know, why are you here, B? I want to do you. Can I do you? Why? <laughs> because it's funny. Please. Oh, you want me to do it? No, no, I'll do it. But I, I'll let you go well, then. <laughs> I'm here for my house! 
I need my house. I need a new house. I take my house. I gotta get my house. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I think she'll say it in her broken ways. Yeah. <laughs> she would say, uh, hang on. Um, soldiers come in and kicked me out. I was making uh, jewellery and wares and, um, you know, Fun smokes, powders. smokes and funny powders. <laughs> where would your house be? Funny powders. I don't know, because I don't know where, where the map. Ah, yeah, right, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, I haven't got oh, a place on the map what, yet. What? Were the soldiers the same as these soldiers, or were they different soldiers? Did they look different? They look I think different. they were. Yeah. They were different, but she oh. just sees soldiers and generals as. Kind That's of... why I was <laughs> saying they look different to these ones. Basically, was there a, basically you were over or a war. Uh, um, basically, she just explains that she'd been living in her home for a very, 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 very long time. Um, she retired there after failed um, attempts at being an adventurer when she was younger. Um, she had a, she built a great home from the ground up. Um, uh, yeah, she got um, pestered by the local village children who thought she was a hag, who she would uh, always end up returning them back to their parents, stung and bitten by infestation. Um, and they just turned up one day and st basically do you know um hitchhiker's guard to the galaxy yeah basically literally that's what happened they needed were they highway. trying to were they trying to build a motorway for yeah you? <laughs> quite literally they needed a trade route so they they completely demolished her home she took everything she could take in a little rowboat and she rode away um casted infestation one last time on all the soldiers and the builders <laughs> that, and rode that, off. That, that sounded quite tragic until you said you cast yes. inflation yes. on them. Yeah. <laughs> so she, um, they wouldn't listen to her that she said she, yeah. So they basically built a highway for her, <laughs> a trade route for her home because she was in the way, even though she'd been living there for many, 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 many years. This is why she's upset and she wants her house back. Bloody planning councils. And then she just falls asleep back on the wolf. <laughs> hmm. Where my Where house? What about you, Rishala? Um, I don't know. I'm in one of those weird states where I don't know if I'm coming or if I'm going. I I've got a really bad dad joke for that, but um... um, I don't know if I'm trying to get away from something or move towards something. Uh, just someone told me to head this direction, and I did. Just woke up one morning and followed my gut. Left my whole my old life behind. Tried to move on for better pastures. Share a similar story. I'm uh, traveling to wherever takes my interest and wanting to fight and get as many gemstones into my hoard as I possibly can. The booty queen. <laughs> <laughs> she frowns at Rashala. <laughs> booty is in treasure. What about what about you, Arthur? You seem to be a a quite strange puzzle that I'm struggling to piece together. Much to tell. I come from a a long line of demon slayers. And when my father felt I was ready, he retired and handed the mantle to me. And now I'm trying to live up to his legacy and make my name in the world and slay evil wherever I find it. What class is as evil? Anything yeah, that that's... doesn't accept that there are consequences to their actions. Well, if you're good, you understand there are consequences to your actions and you act accordingly sometimes you might have to act bad but you understand that there could be consequences if you're evil <coughs> you understand that there are consequences to your actions and don't give a fuck quite frankly which is why animals really aren't you know don't tend to be evil they don't tend to have that 
understanding of consequences. They just act on, you know, primal instinct sort of thing. This feels really? video frozen for everybody else. Yeah. Is it, um, mm. He hasn't frozen. even got video. I have. Uh, my camera's on. I look, can't see it. It looks like you're, yeah. like, in, like, porn star pose. Oh. For me, I just have a blank screen. Oh, see, I can see him, but it's frozen. I can't see anything. I was sat here for a little while, thinking to myself, like, is his and he's camera gone. on or yeah, off? Yeah. Like, I couldn't tell whether he just had a really good poker face and wasn't blinking, <laughs> or if it was It frozen. was the fact he was talking and his mouth was not moving. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a good way. Peekaboo! Right, okay. Anyone else want to share with Rashad? Yeah, I want. I want to know about Gabriel. He's a uh, strange. He's just, been cast as some magic. So, well, just you've been... one second. I've had a kind of a fatal error. Um, I may have crashed on several fronts. Oh, Give me just a minute. Oh, in that case, what about you, Castiel? <laughs> so can someone just recap to me why Arthur's traveling with the group? Because I missed it whilst typing notes. Uh, he wants to. Slay Evil, his father, um, was a renowned demon slayer, uh, and he retired, and his and Arthur took over, and now he just wants to slay anything that isn't a um, priest. The band. He was in. He was in the Demon Slayers. Yeah. The band. <laughs> that was a bad dad joke, Daniel. Oh, Roy, I am a dad, or I'm allowed. Okay. Uh, okay. There's a lot of notes for this session already. Done a lot of backstory shit, haven't it's we? A, it's a talking session, really. Shopping and talking session. Uh, all right. Cast you out. You didn't dodge that bullet. You did ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just waiting for you guys to finish talking. Hello. Um, yeah, I've, I've fixed my crash issue. We are bearing with. Okay. Yeah, so um, I was basically made for a war that didn't happen. And after they made me, they realized they didn't need me. So Aww. I didn't really have anything to do. So they kind of just let me leave. And um, I'm like, you know, a month old. So I'm basically a baby. I don't know anything. If you want to donate to the uh, robot so, house, uh, you can do it. Yeah, so I'm just kind of... The abandoned robot. <laughs> I'm like just wandering now, and I'm like, not. I kind of want adventure to less, but yeah, I just want to go around and find people to teach me normal stuff. Like, you know, I don't know any traditions. I don't know, like, what's religion? What's that all about? Sponsor what's, a robot uh... today and you can get education. <laughs> are, there, are there more like you? You say you were built for a war. I imagine there were more than one of you. Yeah. Built for purpose, right? Yeah, they must. There, there must be more out there, but I don't know any of them. And they just let you roam free. Wonder, yeah. wander off. You said they didn't. They didn't need us anymore, so we you were just go your separate ways. Yeah, because, because of fucking I, COVID. I do have a, a question. <laughs> we got furloughed. <laughs> 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 Damn it! Dan. Yeah, but, yeah, but that means you have to go back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hmm. no, that's a little close to home. They also don't get paid. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't really wrap my head around the fact that they built, for instance, they built these sentient robots, killer killer robots, built specifically to kill. And, <laughs> they just let them and they've just wild. let them go. <laughs> go kill my pretty. It's a be fucked like, up world, mate. This yeah. is going to be like a quest of yours later on, where we find like eighteen of your brothers, and we've just got to kill them because they've malfunctioned. I mean, they, or, they, on they, a they, train, they, yeah. Some of you will know that. Are you the T one thousand? And you've like idea. suddenly <laughs> just gone gone back in time to save people from your own kind. What if yeah. we start the uh, entirely robot-driven city and economy? Just what in this game? In, yeah, yeah, just 
All Let's wolf, a Warforge only city. Yeah, we Smack. don't need to fight a giant creature with seven heads. We'll just fuck off and make our own no. civilization. Wait, yeah. that's perfect. We will fight the giant thing with seven heads, just with thousands of robots. Yeah, yeah where's the rest of your mates? Let's go find him and use him as cannon fodder. <laughs> Look at Dan. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Oh, Daniel. You can do what you like. Anything... I've got the whole world wrapped out. You can do what you like. It's, it's one of those things. I guarantee Alex has literally written like three sentences. Yeah. <laughs> made as yes. War Machine, many like us. <laughs> and now we've just gone, that's fucking cool. Let's go and find the rest of you. <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need books and books and books. <laughs> I'm imagining Castiel's a bit like one of them Cold War Russian spies and someone's going to say a code word in front of him his eyes are going to go red yeah. and he's going to oh, shit. He's gonna do Winter Soldier and he's <laughs> 17 yeah. keep talking keep talking love it anyway <laughs> we've just we've just Feels worked bad. out that Castiel is the Winter Soldier by the yeah. way yep. Castiel's the Winter Soldier oh god yeah. He's got yeah. a code word, and then when we figure it out, he becomes an absolute beast yeah. of a killing machine. I, I just jump up like us. five levels. It, it's, it's, not not like, <laughs> it's not Bucky, is it? Or yeah. yeah. Do you come with instructions? Is there a little book? <laughs> a little, what language is he speaking? Button that you need a hairpin. Yeah. Is it my hand? <laughs> Would Gabriel. you all believe me that I actually stopped dating a guy because he spoke Winter Soldier for me and told me it was Bucky? I wouldn't oh, believe really? that. I, I genuinely totally did. Believe that. That's Honestly, not, I did. He pissed that's... me off that much. I stopped talking to him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I totally can understand that and say that's fair. Not <laughs> Proper that. spoil. Everybody, everybody knew that beforehand, no? though. No, no, not really. No, this it was a bit obvious before finishing it. it. Literally, the oh, film I just started. Already, he went, so. I can't believe it's Bucky. I was like, you prick. <laughs> Comic books basically tell you. Yeah, yeah exactly. but if you're if you've not followed the comics, you'd not. Yeah, yeah. yeah I only. I only follow some comics, and that one I did not follow. Yeah, no. I'm I'm a let's, nerd, but I like a proper nerd. Let's grab <laughs> let's grab that and put it over there. Yeah, yeah. That's the, uh, uh, Gabriel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a strange old fellow, aren't you? I'm not old, but yeah, I'm strange. I mean, I mean, like, what's your gig? Like, you, uh, you're but, very like off on your own and independent and when you have two siblings that are like chalk and cheese you kind of just want to be yourself and not have to deal with them understandable yeah currently i'm just out and about trying to get money look for stuff looking for magical creatures primarily and you not arrive here <laughs> Not for killing them, by the way. Funny, uh, and yes, I've arrived here. <laughs> but do you not all find it kind of strange how we had all brought to this continent, which is primarily, at least what I've seen, just dwarven folk? Is that a problem? It's not. No, it's not a problem. I just feel like... I don't know. Maybe there's something... I hate to be that all. guy, but maybe it's the will of the gods. Yeah. I mean, brought, dwarf, brought us all here together. Dwarves made me, so you, you guys were some of the first non-dwarves I've ever met. Fair. Aren't you the lucky one? Yeah. <laughs> it's not all dwarves, feel like, there, but these majority dwarves, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we were all on our own threads. And something has just pulled us all together for whatever reason. Hmm. Whether that's do... higher power or... The gods have their ways, but it's not always the gods. Sometimes it's just random dumb luck. Yeah, I look a bit anxious at the at the mention of gods bringing us together. <laughs> so... You okay there, Shala? You, you've gone a bit pale. Um, just Why not one it... for... Why does it matter what brings us here? We're here. That's a good point. I believe in the light. I don't believe in gods. I'm, oh, I, yeah. I'm here. I'm looking... Uh, this is getting a bit deep. <laughs> it is a what? heavy word to be thrown around before lunch. Well, whatever everyone's reason for being here and for adventuring in the first place, don't see as it really matters right now. Maybe it'll I agree. matter in the future, but uh, yeah. 
whilst we have the opportunity to work together, you're a wonderful team of people, from what I can tell so far, at least. And, uh, we all love our word pros, right? Is B yeah. still asleep at this point? <laughs> the pros, the pros don't bother me as much as. I hope we can all stick together through the cons. If what cons? Can... Okay. Those... What, what cons do you speak of? Heavy baggage. Yeah, let's go with that. And if... I'll look at. I'll look Who at. Who are you calling heavy? I'll look Myself. at Arthur. <laughs> I'll look at and Arthur, and I'll, very... and I'll just say, confused at your statement. Sorry. I look at Arthur and I'll just say, yeah, we might, yeah, a bit of baggage. A bit of baggage. I kind of shrug uh, naively almost. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what you're getting at. <laughs> don't think Arthur would quite catch that on, on with that, if you know what I mean. Let's just say not all of us have had the the cleanest of upbringings and backgrounds. So I just hope our <laughs> past can be left at the boat, so to speak. Look, I'm still coming to terms with the fact we might just have slaughtered a dozen or so innocent wolves. It's great for my first outing. Well, they weren't innocent when they were attacking us. Yeah, but they were under control. That's not evil, is it? That's <laughs> being under the con mind control. That's Was it, Arthur, was like, it your so first? Yeah. Arthur. Yeah, your first time, always sticks. Yeah. Could you have saved first. them at the time when you started fighting? Could but, you have saved but, them? Yes or no? When we think back. Yes or no? Hold on. When we think back, if we'd have left them in peace, they wouldn't have hit us. They wouldn't have attacked us, would they? We don't know. But actually, at the time, yeah, could actually, you no, have the, saved them? The small one did. Actually, the small Gabriel, one was the worst one. We. We did test it, and no, they would have just left us be. No, the small uh, one didn't. The small one just, attacked. Yeah, we worked out that was because they were they had. Um, uh, but if you were within five feet of them, they could see you. Outside of that, they couldn't. Uh. So yeah, so you can imagine, can't you, dear dad? When the veteran today shit. also <laughs> kill, kill, killed a dozen innocent wolves. Also thinking of it. If they were mining for things and you stood next to them, I could see the uh, confusion. Someone got a pick to the face. I mean, I get, I get the, the, the whole the whole situation was confusing. I get that, but it still doesn't sit any better, does it? No, it doesn't. Your first one will always stay with you. Uh, I'd like to say it gets easier. Um. It kind of does, but gotta be honest. If you've sorry, you first. If you've got the metal for it, it gets easier. I'm gonna be honest. I won't be losing any sleep. At the time, we could not have saved them. We had no knowledge of how to save them. Therefore, we could not have saved them. I sort of, I sort I of side wrong, with but... Castiel. We were, we sort of come from similar. Backgrounds, I guess we were brought up to do a job, so it doesn't feel any different to me. Isn't Castile like about two days old? <laughs> yeah, but he was—he was—he was quite literally bred to kill. Yeah, and I was he, pretty he much is, the same. He is HK, whatever his number was. I can't think. Anyway, I cast summon animal. Yes, I mean, and it worked what? successfully. <laughs> What well, whatever happened in everyone's past is exactly that. It's the past. What really matters is what you intend to do moving forward. You know what? I reckon as long as we try and have each other's backs at the very least. Won't that be what what matters most? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can all learn from each other in some way or another. Me more than we most. All, we all have things we'd rather not share right now, and we all have. But, you know, the only way forward really is some sort of ignorance or forgiveness, I guess. And I'll happily plead ignorance. 
but yeah, I've come from a not so desirable past, but I will protect my friends if I can. I'm not failing on that again. I didn't think there could be a more noble cause, Rashala. Your heart's in the right place, for sure. My actions may not speak the same, but... Has she got water? We can cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, as your intentions are pure, I don't see a problem. I, uh, I appreciate having this chat with you all. Indeed. Good to clear the air. Hmm. Bunny considers patting him on the head. Who on the head? Don't. Charla. Good evening, mate. How you doing? <laughs> so, um, after we have dinner with the guys and they pay us whatever they're going to pay us or don't, as the case may be, what are we doing next? Uh, I need haven't... some sleep. I'm still feeling a bit woozy from that cave and burning a lot of shrooms. Yeah, yeah, I mean, after that, basically. No, 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 I'll let them kill themselves. Um, so, while you're having your conversation, a little young chap come running up and goes, Mr, Mr, and he pulls on um, Arthur's uh, vestment, or cloth that he's got on his thing. Mr, Mr. Yes, boy? I've got a message for you. He hands you okay. over a parchment. And he goes... Has he handed me a piece of paper? Yeah, and he, oh, sure. he runs off. Oh, right, okay. I was going to give him a coin, but no worries. Check your, check your coin first. He may have <laughs> yeah, picked up your <laughs> coins. He might have already had some. Uh... Also, here's five gold to everyone. I sold some gems. I forgot. Oh, I appreciate well, five gold each? Yeah, five gold each. Oh, oh I've have, just... I, have you already taken... A, um... I've just got 25% richer. <laughs> have you also taken a key off me? Uh, I have now. Yeah, yeah. You got a key for a room now. Um, Thank you, Gabriel. How do, what, how, what how does do they feel about do owls? Do you think we have a we have a fucking direwolf in our party? I don't think an owl is going to spook us. I don't know unless Castiel suddenly got can a I, fucking. Can I tell you outside of the game birds. how I feel about owls? Uh. I mean, I don't like, have a problem with it. Like, like outside a game, but yeah. but within D and D, how I feel about owls. What? They die as soon as I'm possibly able to kill them. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Phil. You're not the it, DM, thankfully. <laughs> I can because, keep my owl alive. Why? What's because wrong with owls. Because they're bloody they're power gamey. Yeah, they're yeah. cheats for players. Oh. oh, look at this room that is blatantly trapped. Let's oh, look at this owl that's got like 120 vision, can't be flipping, and doesn't doesn't uh, evoke attacks of opportunity or whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> no, we've just got a dire bird that we could send into room. You, anyway, you anyway. haven't played against me. A dire yet. bird? That owl <laughs> has got its own shit. I don't know why I said with. that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, anyway back, back, back in game. Sorry, yeah. what was the question? Sorry. Yeah. You got the notes. You read the notes? Yes, please, yes. I want to read the note. <laughs> Out loud, maybe. It says, you are hereby summoned, you and your companions, to Ooh. head to the halls of the um, of the keep, where you, were, you have been invited to dine with Goldhammer and the mayor. Well, you... you, you, you... Better put on your party frocks, everybody. We've got an official invite to dinner with the mayor and Goldhammer. Oh no! I know. <laughs> I've just had no. I've just had sudden realization about because, yeah, his his son. Look, I'm not talking, ah. all right? Ah. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna just follow lead. I'm taking. I still think we me. should just say that in the chaos, we think he was lost. That's you're... not what you were saying earlier. You're discussing <laughs> this as you're walking? Yes. I guess we will do. Hold on, hold on. So... That is roughly what I said earlier. I said that you we said, say... tell him the truth. Well, yeah, not but the, what, he what... was lost in battle. He died in he the chaos. In battle. That is the truth. And it was during the chaos of the, of the uh, whatever, of the mushrooms. Influence, I suppose, is the best word I can think of. Yeah. So He died think... because of the mushrooms. That's all we I need think to say. Your... Yeah. I think your conscious is uh, guiding your decision in a not-so-favourable way direction 
I would like to suggest that we don't talk about this in public. Well, we're talking about it while we're walking. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, exactly. Um, that's my point. So, um, let's stop before, this conversation. Before we walk off, I'm going to give everyone 200 XP. Mm. Apart from Rashala, who's going to get an extra 100. What? What? I know why. Oh. It's the RP. It's the what? The RP. Role play. How much do I get? Around, everyone else gets 200, you said. Mm-hmm. That's favouritism. <laughs> he instigated it, and I loved it. We're going to continue this because I love it. It's rewarding good behaviour. Oh, what? I'm confused. I can't remember how the hell I get myself XP. <laughs> Click on your so, name. Manage yeah, XP on the far right. I thought I did that. Hold on. Where it says... back. Where's, 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 what the hell have I done? Click on the buttons. Yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, uh, yeah. He doesn't know what buttons. So the one that like says that. manage Hepper. You might be able to see it better if you're, um, your I eyes are on the I go there and I go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. manage experience. I can see the screen. <laughs> the hey, lot where it says type XP <laughs> no, value. Sorry, I'll sit up and look at it. <laughs> yeah, where, it says, t- where it says type XP value, put in 200. Mm-hmm. Then enter. Apply changes. I have 1100 XP, is that right? Yeah. 1100 XP, yes. yeah. That's what I said. No, I'm just confirming, <laughs> yes. Yeah? Cool. You walk, it right. You're walking, yeah? You're walking to the keep? Yes. Did you say 250, Dan? Sorry. 200. 200. 200. 200. Okay. You're discussing the what you're going to talk about thing, and then Castiel going, ah, we shouldn't be talking about that here now, and then you shut up immediately. Um, you arrive. Oh. Did I notice anyone, like, paying attention to our conversation? You can actively look if you wish, with a perception. Yeah. Can I give him some help on that? How are you helping him? Good are you, you're exhausted. I'm listening to out and saying, uh, maybe over there. Or pointing out possible people who are looking and staring at us. Well, I'll give you the help action then. <coughs> I'm I'm not giving him... I'm not rolling myself, John. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. giving him help. Uh, my name is Dan. No, I'm saying that to John because he was asking, oh, my name's Dan. aren't you disadvantaged? The, the questionable thing is with that though, Sean, you say, looking out for anyone who is looking at us. Look at our party. <laughs> We've got an eight foot tall fucking dragonborn. A shiny a, pink a, granite thing. Yeah, a seven and a half foot tall robot. A small old wrinkly lady riding a dire wolf. Riding a dire wolf. Yeah, yeah, we, we are. <laughs> Stand um, out a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're, we're e- e- everything when it comes to conspicuous, aren't we? Let's be honest. <laughs> And we're, we're surrounded by dwarves, as if we couldn't get any taller. <laughs> so, Gnomes. your perception. Oh. You look out on the crowds. You, people notice you. It is obvious. <laughs> um, they're like, like the kids are going, look at that, look at that big dragon. Oh, I bet he breathes fire. Um, you know, sort of, you get the kids sort of tugging on their mums, go, ah, mum, 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 look at him, he's, a, he's metal. Um, and then, and then, then you get like the, the single ladies going, oh, look at him, he's big. All the single, oh, the single ladies. ladies. <laughs> I was waiting for that bit. Of course, um, you can't have it that mentioned without someone singing. No, nothing, <gasps> nothing catches your eye that seems threatening. Um... To be fair, it actually feels quite good because people are acknowledging you. They go, "Oh, they're here to save us. They're here to oh, they're here to relinquish the enemies. Oh, I'm to get my husband back. Are they the adventurers everyone's talking about? Have people talking about us already? No oh, fuck. Notorious. And little do they know, we can barely save ourselves. <laughs> no, do they know we killed the mayor's son <laughs> oh shit you did what <laughs> as a little man said no, um, huh? I had a friend called mayor oh <laughs> nice no, save nice no, save <laughs> there's a reason why I have a high deception <laughs> you can roll it if you want <laughs> yeah I'll probably oh, fail it now won't I yeah there you go yeah. good enough I knew it would Backfire. That's good yeah. enough. That's good enough. You killed a man's son. <laughs> no, you did it was his what? flower. <laughs> Maya had a had a flower called a sunflower. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. And 
nicknamed it the Man. sun. A sun. A uh, uh, sun. Uh, right, so you're approaching the keep. The keep is like big. Everything in here is big. You've got, <laughs> you've got the barracks. You've got the castle. You've got the wizard's towers and the the college. You've got the shops. It's big. Um, like proud. Um, big big port cutlass with um. The moat around the moat's got water in it, and um, it's a typical castle. <coughs> the drawbridge is down, the portcullis is up, and um, there is there is a ton of guards situated here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wolves. Um, there is a ton. They're, they're lined up. They're marching up and down. This is where uh, it gets protected. It gets what? Protected. Ah. Yeah, you can tell that, that that these guys don't take shit from no one. No kicking any shins. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's still asleep. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, it's been a long day, to be fair. <laughs> on the wolf. So you approach the colors and you're immediately halted by a line of guards. Halt! What's your purpose here? You do not go further without any means of purpose. I'm going to wave the note in their face. You know. <laughs> waving. Read. Read this. This is my note. Well, you please read it, mister. <laughs> Thank you. We have an invite from Goldhammer and the Mayor. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> Goldhammer did say that we were expecting <laughs> some riffraff. <laughs> Eventually, the general riffraff. <laughs> it has the seal, so yes, you can come in. You know, that's the kind of you. You leave your weapons in the entrance way. You don't need it where you're going. That's fine. I don't need my weapon anyway. <laughs> I am the weapon. I was yeah. just about to say, I am my weapon. <laughs> And I have a little smoke out of my nose as well. I am. Um, oh. yeah. 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 I'll hand over my sword. And then, it, am I got the other weapons? I, I think I've got a crossbow, yeah. As of yeah. Days. I got a great sword and a hand axe. So and, 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 and a quarter staff, apparently. I don't really think I'll be carrying oh. that, but apparently Can I someone am. just pick up B by her foot and just sort of jiggle her <laughs> a little bit? Just like and stuff just fall yeah, out. The problem is, is you'd have to hand, you would really have to hand over B, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't because be separated B's, from her staff. B's, B's, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like she's like people over walk. her head with it. It's <laughs> just a walking stick. That's not yeah. a weapon. King flies. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Just tell him it's a walking stick. I hand over my dagger, but for some I... reason I have adventuring gear of a small knife that's not classed as a weapon. I have respectable amounts of weaponry. I have a great sword, a hand axe, and a long sword. The... There you go, little dwarf. Carry all this. <laughs> the... Yeah, I, I <laughs> hand them my... Uh... It does. Easy. Batlax. Freaking two hand axes. <laughs> they... You, I assume anyone resisting being disarmed? I wish I was level three though, so I could do that soul bond thing. What we are weapons? Level three. We are what level classes three. as no, a no, no, weapon? No. Or... Uh, warlock level three. Uh, Sorry, uh, I wish we were level four, so I could do the soul. Oh, thing. warlock level three. Mm, any level any oh, range yeah. weapons, bows, crossbows, throwing so knives. So physical weapons. Yeah. Okay. So oh, just get, just you're a caster type. Yeah, oh, you won't be able to do any of that with your going. He never said anything, so I was, I was thinking I got away with this. I have my spell book. I can fight. Um, the direwolf has offered a stable. It's up to everyone else that one. Uh, yeah, I think it's the um, base, safest place for everyone. Up to B. Bunny, yeah. Bunny, Bunny's just gonna shake B. B. Eh. B. Eh. eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, we're going for some food. Yeah. The direwolf will what? be cozy. What? Will you be staying with the direwolf or will you be joining us at this soiree? I was just going to slide off and go, soiree? 
What's this word? Food. 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 Yes, Help. yes, yes. I'm just going to start walking forward. Food. 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 Oh, oh, we've God. Lost <laughs> Did no one bring the harness? <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> Who's got rope? We need a new one. So... I still have a bit. Probably got a bit of rope just dragging behind her, to be fair. <laughs> Grab, grab that rope, someone. <laughs> <laughs> so the dire wolf is led off to the stables. And it's looked after very nicely there. You're guided into a grand um, keep. There's guards inside here. You go through lots of rooms before you get to the main room in question. Before you are presented with two grand oak doors all engraved with beautiful embroidery Engra um, is it embroidery? Uh, embroidery is cloth yes are um, you talking about engravement for yeah stone and wood on, and on such words, yeah it's got like depicting arts on, on the, yeah that's uh, engravement um and he goes knocks on the door sir your guests have arrived excellent let him in and you hear the door goes open. As you step into the room, um, there is three people in this room. There is a very, very tall elf, almost seven foot, you probably say, between six and a half to seven foot elf, wearing wizarded robes and carrying a book. There is a a um the a, a dwarf gentleman with like bandages on his face arms hands sat at the head of the desk and there is gold hammer excellent come in guys make yourself a comfortable seat we'll be preparing for a communica communication very shortly any questions we will do it after we've done this preventative this is out of character the guy I met in the wizard college. Is that the same guy in the room? No, it's not. Thank God. I was thinking... <laughs> uh, I was thinking that's going to be very freaking awkward. Was the guy I met human or dwarf? Uh, or elf? He was an elf as well. But he wasn't, ah, he wasn't nowhere near seven foot. Different elf. Different elf. Um, okay, so the door's shut behind you. He goes, one moment please, um, as we make it a secure room our conversations that we're going to have we do not want to be speaking and other ears hearing okay so um catch up would you please encant your magics as you are very powerful and wise indeed um the elven wizard takes his book out and places a very large crystal on encant some arcane words um And with that, over a short amount of time, see it pulsate mark energies, and um, he says, you should be safe now. Do not touch that, that artifact. Disrupt. No one will hear, no one will know. Thank you, Kajar. Gabriel. Hold on What's to the that fucking saying? rope. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. I will thing. hold on to the rope as tightly as I can with my z plus zero strength. See, like a kid at the table going, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be exactly like that. Uh, Bunny takes off one of her large gems and compares it to whatever's sat on the table. Nowhere near. <laughs> About half the size. Do you want me to roll strength to try and restrain you or something? Oh, no, you're joking. Ah, thank God. <laughs> Unless you want to. I'm not going to try. If you're joking, you're joking. Okay. <laughs> you get yourself comfortable. He goes, excellent. Um, there's my notes. Notes to me. Oh, I've, got, I've got notes. I wrote it down somewhere. Where is it? Right where you left it. My note taking's great, isn't it, guys? Is it the last note you made? No, it's not. Ah, then I can't help you then. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I do this to myself all the time. I have it written down here somewhere. So, you're immediately greeted by um, the dwarf gentleman, and he stands up and he goes, Thank you, adventurers. You saved me. You haven't heard this voice before. He, un he starts to unravel his bandages, and behind the bandages you see a healing dwarven male. You can... He goes, I look a lot different to what I started with. When you found me but i am the one you saved from that, that that mountain i would just like to say that this music is really apt for this it's like yeah. one of those like union i must say well, yeah th this playlist has been amazing <laughs> yeah, where did that, you get yeah. this youtube <laughs> it's like one of those rescue stories of like some sad bedraggled dog and then what it looks like now so, um, Goldhammer goes, okay, so that we're going to skip past that. We're going to get the brass taxes. We're going to explain everything right now. No one out of this room would know that this gentleman here, the mayor, did not get taken. He did not get taken. Okay? Don't know what he's talking about. Exactly. Yes, sorry, what? Thank you. Now, we are clear that this never happened. Thank you. So there is obviously a problem the problem beyond problems we've got the main city down in distress we've got the wizards now complaining about their magic book gone missing you've got um gabriel did you take the wizard's magic book no and can <laughs> i just say those wizards are fucking rude need to go for the high horse um excuse me young sir what did you say my I wizards went in. aren't very rude i went in <laughs> to ask for help and I got yelled at for a good five to ten minutes because I have my own life and I want to do my own things. Oh, I do God. not deserve to be yelled at any more than you deserve to be yelled at. For oh, the, God. Bunny's the just going to slowly move people. her hand over his mouth. You did not deserve to be yelled at by me for the problems someone else caused. So I'm sorry. I got this very fucking powerful wizard and he rolled a natural one. So yeah, he believes you. <laughs> I'm being honest. Hmm. I'm not I, trying to be deceptive. I, I, well, no, you missed a little bit out of that. You did argue back. Um, so... <laughs> I thought I kind of made that clear by the way I'm acting, but never mind. I need to go and have a word with this gentleman then, because I you should never talk to someone like that. Um, the ranks mean a thing for wizards, so if, he, if he's on the rank in you, then I will have a, I will have a word. I'm going to be honest. I did also argue back, but that's after he started yelling at me. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll deal with that after here. Then we've got more impressive matters at hand. The book's You're gone right. missing. The book has gone missing. Right? That is not a pompous thing, Goldhammer. We need to do it. But the city is down. Why don't you just use sorcerers instead? Yeah, they don't need books. <laughs> exactly. It's going to give you a glare. Like a, I'm yeah, going to give glare. them a glare as well. By looking it's at like... you going... <laughs> Isn't this what happens when you, you 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 know you write powerful magic in books? Isn't it just asking for yeah, someone? To books can just go them? missing. Yeah. yeah. You I feel like if you put the right enchantments on them, burn on fires. My honest opinion. I don't care about the book. I am already of a living mind power. I don't need it. Mm -hmm. But for other people, I would say what, what one thing. <laughs> quite... Yeah, that was in character, by the way. So <laughs> I did actually just go, ooh. It's in character that I would be able to help myself. I'd be laughing because I... I'm, I'm, it's like, I'm a, it's like a typical pompous elf. Like, I'm better than all of you. Yeah, you know and that... I'm going I'm to pipe up and I'm going to say, right, we didn't come here for a dick measuring contest. You brought us here for a reason. What's the reason? Uh, B, what, what were you going to say? I was going to say, um, it's verbal, <laughs> somatic. I'm just going to, like, 
wave my arms in the air, not make it look like obvious that I'm. It's just like because she's loony. Um, and while he's being a pompous prick, I'm just gonna do the most gaudy looking flower crown just appear upon his noggin. So as you go to cast your magic words, he puts his hand out on a cross. Flower crown starts to materialise but then disappears instantly. Ah. As he just disp- as he's just counter spell. I'll do it again, but in that, this time it's thorns. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Dan! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think how reactions work. He's gonna have another reaction, he's gonna count spell it. Ah yeah, boring. I don't think I suit a crown. Uh. <laughs> Anyhow, we get into business. You are very much correct, my uh, scaly one. Um, Goldhammer, you said you had something to promise them first. Yes, yes, yes. Get on with it. Um, uh, he, go, he goes, Wow, you really are up yourself, aren't you? Have to be, like a right you have to be in this business. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Uh, Goldhammer says, What business is that? Being a prick. Sorry, it's the forehead, it's the forehead talking again. <laughs> Goldhammer, Goldhammer pipes up he and he shouts, Boys, I need it. Now? And you hear this like squeaky, squeaky wheel trolley starts being pushed. And the door opens up and they walk in and there's this, this <coughs> chest on the top of this, this, this trolley. It was up to the table. Picks the chest up, with both of them picks the chest up, put it on the table with a clatter. And um, they, they goes, uh, be gone. And then um, they, they go out. And as soon as the door is shut, he goes, this is yours. Now, whichever one of you wants to take it, take it. But it is yours. What is it? The chest. I'll try and climb out the table. Oh, look funny, at that. I, I hold on to the rope to stop her. I'll, I'll look at Castile. I'll look at it. I'll look at Castile again. And then I'll look at it for a third time, and I'll look at Castillo again. I'm going to open it and see what's in there. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of gold. <laughs> I mean... Why do we get um, this gold? Because you saved the mayor. We did a good deed. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I was expecting uh, like... I was expecting like things. ten each. <laughs> Which okay. This is we also... Payment for yeah, quiet, for to be quiet, uh, and I do have another right. proposition for you. Right, there we go. This is what they want. What do you yeah. want us to do then? So, I don't know how much you know of this place, probably not a lot, but up north in Belize, uh, at the base of the mountains, is um, they're currently building a... Um, a recreational um, gathering centre where where um, orphans and um, refugees are coming to camp, where we are starting to rebuild. Problem is, trying to get the things from here to there is a nightmare. We have a cart full of supplies. I need that cart to get there. Now, do you think you can get it there? Yeah. See why not? It's quite a travel. Repay yourself for many days. We could give you rations and stuff like that for the travel. It's not a problem. What's we'll the cart? You. The cart is weaponry, metals, and other things required to rebuild. Is it an open top or covered cart? Um, it's an, a, an open top, but with a with, with a tarp. A tarp. On. Yeah, tarp. Okay, I wasn't sure if you're talking like the old style Western where it's got oh, the big wagons. Arch. No, no, it's open with a with a tarp. tarp open. Yeah. Okay. Where, where is it going? Sorry. It's going to Balise. A B A L I S. I wonder if uh, you would be able to help us resupply our armor and our weapons. Um, this sounds like a dangerous job, and having us well geared would. Help have us just, secure they, your. Yeah, they've they just given just us like a si- sizable amount of cash that we can do. I mean, that depends. I kind of want to know how much is in there each because I have a pretty good idea of what I'd like to buy. Do a do want... persuasion for that. If you want to give me the number of the gold in the chest, then I'll split it up for everyone. But when you've counted it? Yeah. 
Pretty good persuasion. <laughs> what just happened here? He goes... Barely, we barely know each other at the moment. You have done a good deed. We've paid you. Um, I'm sure we can work this out when you come back. If you come back, then sure, 100%. Um, metal is currently very rare here at the moment. We need to spare it for the armies. Um, otherwise, we can't win this war. I'd say... Is this, is this gold payment to do this job also um it would be yes but if you are to say you wanted a request for a good will gesture to some of the armorers or some of the uh, magic crafters then we can do that for a discount for some grand adventurers like yourselves i'd say that would benefit us all that because let's look at it this way it benefits you to make sure we are well prepared for this travel. If we are not prepared for this travel and we get attacked, you're losing your supplies. As well if as you can adventure. help us, if you can help us prepare armor up, gear up, the, the, the better we are prepared, the more likely we are to save this wagon from any danger. Okay, you do a persuasion then. They'll give you persuasion. Persuasion stuff. Great. Uh, persuasion. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know. uh, I think that speech deserved advantage, but <laughs> pretty good speech. But unfortunately, no. <laughs> oh, fine. Of You're lost the then. If you wanna, um, no, 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 no. It's not what he says. It's not what he says. He goes. He, he does go. All right. I will tell you what. You reach Balis in good time. There is crafting up in Balis. We'll send word to them. They can give you discounts when you get there. What counts as good time? No, no, just yeah. any time. Get in there. Okay. So if we make it, we'll get paid. We're Wednesday. pretty much accepting to do the job we'd already accepted. Yeah, pretty much. Well, <laughs> means you can uh, gear up now. Um... Is that the technical term? Gear up. We're gonna gear up now. <laughs> or you know, we've got, Suit we've got, up. what I meant to what I, what I meant to say is, um, it's not you don't we don't need to leave immediately. You have time to chill out in the city for a day. And then yeah, can, can we leave first thing in the morning? Yeah, of course, of course. You can do, leave the you rest can do of some the day. tasks or do something around the place. Not a problem. Get yourself um, get yourself acquainted and and uh, fully supplied. Um, Maybe spend some of this hard earned money. Yeah. Um, the mayor will pipe up and he'll go, Once you get there, I have a request once once you get back. Here's an extradition to get my son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. He's in that mountain, and I want him out. The, um, Goldhammer has sent his army there, but apparently is destroyed. I'm going to look at everyone, like, really frowned, and then look at him and go, but your son is... Literally right where you're looking. But... I'm uh, confused. No stop me that, that cave, that cave wasn't destroyed when we left, right? No, I burnt a, fa I burnt a fair bit of it on the inside. Not much, but. Yeah, but he bit. literally just said that cave was destroyed. No, I'm. I know what he's saying, but I'm saying I burnt a fair bit of it. I probably pissed Nick off. Um, we're not. We're not a. Uh, should we say accustomed to this continent? To get to Belize, do we pass the cave? Yes, you do. You thinking what do about? What you mean when you say it's destroyed? Caved in. I would. I would like to at least check <clears throat> as as we pass by, if that isn't too Ooh. much of a hassle. 
We will put some things in the cart that will help you do this job. Well, I will make sure they get at it because who's best to get my son is you guys. Uh, what, what does he look like? He pulls out a picture. Do we recognize the picture? No. <laughs> to be honest, the, everyone in there was... You barely re The guy that you're talking to now does not look like the guy that you pulled out of there. Because of the fungus and the, the growths, very hard to tell. Um, okay, so this, this is out of character, sorry. Do we know that the small thing that we killed was his son? You we know, didn't the have only, any confirmation. Yeah. There was no confirmation, but that was the only small thing there at the moment. Uh, okay. Mr. Mayor, how tall is your son, by the way? <laughs> Just so we know in case there's other missing children. About two foot, two and a half foot. Does that sound about the same height as the, the guy we... Uh, Ish. You know. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but like two and a half foot for dwarfs is like that a child. Standardized, right? isn't it? Yeah. That what's two. the average height for a halfling or a gnome? Two to two feet. Three feet. So it could either be a gnome or a dwarven child. Got it. Um Okay. Let's feast. Um any questions, direct it to me after. Um, so you, you eat. I'm going to speed this up now. You eat. Um, rest. Yeah, well, you get, you get your short rest. You could even spend time divvy, counting the gold and divvying it out. Um, Good idea. The chest is, has a value of four and a half thousand gold. The chest? Or the, the chest. gold in the chest? The gold in the chest. For, so you said... Four and a half thousand gold. Four thousand five hundred gold. I thought there was two chests, one there. That's one. I thought you no. said two people carried up two chests. No, two Never people mind. carried up one chest because it was heavy. Okay. Okay. So we have two different amounts. Nice try, wifey. Nice try. If you direct your your eyes to uh, roll twenty, those are the two options we have. Two people oh, get... no, no. Yeah. Unfortunately. I don't want to be that one, but not enough. What, 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 what? That's each. So two from, people get a smaller amount. I'll take a smaller amount. I'll take like, a smaller it's amount. It's only one copper piece yeah, difference. I'll, I'll take that. Yes, I'm uh, fine with that. Yeah, me too. I'll happily take one of the five then. No, I'll take a five. Oh, where, where are we getting all this money from? This the, is our reward. This chest. is from the chest. The big chest. You mean my chest I picked up. <laughs> yes, but you picked up. <laughs> Did you guys want to share that? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Would you like to be deactivated? <laughs> so much there's just like a button. Beep. <laughs> so we'll find his instructions. Okay, so <laughs> right. who wants what? I, got I'll, take, I'll take a lower amount. I don't. I'm yeah, not. I'll take a lower amount. That's fine with me. So you dig, you dig out your gold. You go back to the tap. You, ha you stay the night at the tap. You have a long rest. I was going to say, B, we didn't need to do that, but that's fine. Oh, uh, okay. You get it back anyway. You you have a long rest. Um, and then you spend a day or so in the city before you set off. So the second day you will set off. So what I'm going to do is, I would, if you want to do some downtime, there's a, there's a is it in the Xanathar's Guide? Guide? Yeah, the Xanathar's Guide has got the most best, the have best a look version. At the Xanathar's Guide downtime, and we'll talk out game what you want to do during that downtime to keep yourself busy for that day or so. By the way, uh, B is in utter shock because that's like the most gold she's ever seen in her entire life. Is that a house? Uh, the, the, I'm hoping, the, I'm hoping that this is swaying her to do like... House? Ooh, yeah, we could buy three, three, four, five. She <laughs> will probably try and make a lot of jewellery out of some of these coins though. So if you want... she is wearing like... Are you uh, talking in like a Jack Sparrow from a hair? Yeah, thing? yeah. You uh, have like one of those belly us... dancer coin. Yeah, skirt she's got things. quite a lot of um, jewelry on her that is actually made out of gold coins. Yeah, so you can you can minus however much you want, and uh, there's no use. Oh but, yeah, I'll make a couple I, of necklaces. I think. <laughs> think there's a down. I think there's a downtime for like stuff like crafting and stuff like that. So maybe have a read of that. See what yeah. it says. Crafting yeah. an item. Yeah. yeah, there's an entire chapter for it. So. Yeah. Do I so, have any tools now? So, with with that said, we're going to conclude episode six, um, and we're going to go uh, next week, episode seven, hopefully on an adventure. 
15 minutes early. This is unheard of. Uh, we're actually 15 minutes late. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. Are we? Oh, I said half, t half 10. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't remember that. The, the issue is I was up at really early this morning and I know people have got work tomorrow and stuff like that and they don't like Why? Well, no, it's a good, good place to stop. So we're going to love everyone here. Um, thank you very much for the games today. It was a bit of a chatty game, but nonetheless. That's, 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 that's some, some... Yeah, no, it's... Lots of understanding, lots of control, lots of money, lots of things to do. So exactly. Like joy reveals. Yeah. Not, every session, not every session should be combat. Let's be no, honest. and it won't be. Yeah. Uh, but it's you good. still get rewarded. Anyhow, um, we will chat offline um, for art or downtime. Um, obviously, if we don't get downtime in time, then we're just going to assume dodge. I just mill. <laughs> mine is mine is easy. I know what I want to yeah. do. We'll do it. We'll do it offline. That's not a problem. Um, any questions that you want to do within the day, you can let me know and we'll sort it out. Um, uh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah, I think we're we're pretty good. I'm happy. Getting there. Thanks for uh, the Wild Magic Vales. Much appreciated, as always. Um, thanks for the follows. I'm going to shout out to Zenimar, Spooky Glitch RPG, Fast Blue Cube, Balfour's... Oh, no, that was yesterday. <gasps> Spooky Glitch followed you? Yeah, Spooky Glitch RPG followed Spooky. me. Yeah, Spooky. Fast I Blue Cube her. and Zenimar. Yeah. Thank you for all the follows, guys. You are awesome. Um, I've got... My, uh, my YouTube is kicking off massively at the moment with a Pokemon upload, so if you if you like that sort of stuff, you want to go check that out. There's a giveaway going at the moment. I still think you should put on your suit and put a video yeah. on there. It's so hot right now. When in winter, then I'll be fine. Um, <laughs> what else am I saying? Uh, tomorrow is a free day, so um, just, I'm going to mill around, chill out. Uh, Friday, we've got tabletop D&D, most likely. Have we? I'm looking at Tom. <laughs> I believe so, yeah. You feeling good? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, then Saturday, we have a 24 hour stream. Nice. Um, I'm not, it's not mine, but I'm going to be part of it. And it's one of my friends, uh, just a couple of gamers. Dot, uh, dot com, just a couple of gamers. Um, we're going to be doing, he's doing 24 hour stream for Dementia. Um, and I'm going to be part of that. I'm going to help him out. Um, and then Sunday, we've got a massive Pokemon opening. Massive Pokemon opening. I've got loads coming. But the boys, hopefully, the boys will be here with us. Um, and then hopefully, we've got Salt Marsh because we missed last week. More DD. We need more DD in life. So. We're going to wrap it up there. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much, chat. Thank you very much, players. You are awesome. Love you all. Mwah. And um, <laughs> regard to yourself. Mm -hmm. So, Cheers. stay safe, guys. Thanks for Thank watching. You. Regard to yourself. See you next time. Sorry, I did that completely wrong. Let's do it again. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Look out to yourself. Ah, see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Mm. Uh.